Here we go again. It's Thursday morning. This is the 9th of March. Um, I'm trying another bowl lava. This is, uh, again, once more, uh, the fresco from uh, a kind gift from um, Jeff, that's the soap. And I must say, it's lathering up much better. Because I'm lazy, I don't put enough effort in, I suppose. But this one's working well. Little tips that I'm using as well. This is, of course, from Jack's. A little bit of water on the brush. Just to make the lather a little less dense. Well, I'm feeling pretty dense this morning. In a moment, I'm going to have to uh, get in my trusty Audi and uh, go and see a colleague and meet him on the Peas Pottage service station on the uh, M25, where just off the M25, where, of course, all the prices are absurd. And uh, I'm probably going to get ripped off. I'll probably get another tar parking fine. I'm good at that. You stay a little bit over time in a service station car park waiting for your friend because of the heavy traffic. And uh, he arrives, you go in for a coffee, you come back, everything's fine. And seven days later, through the post, you get a great big fine. Anyway, enough of this. This is, this is nice, yeah, this is working. My apologies for, uh, for being rather slow today. This is the Fresco from Phoenix Shaving. Thank you, Jeff. I must say, you were right. It is a good dense lather if you put the work in. That's going to do very nicely. Anyway, the shave test today is just to try one more time. The River Razor 14. Uh, it wasn't terribly successful on a trans arc edge. I couldn't understand why. It sounded a bit like a demented buzzsaw when it was passing across my stubble. So two days of stubble have gone by. Here it is again. This is with a black, surgical black Arkansas edge over the top, hopefully, of the trans arc edge. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Not noticeably different. There is a, a black magic skill, almost a black art, with any stone. And uh, there's a combination of things here. You're talking about strange modern steel. Which um, does love, absolutely adores, synthetic stones. I'm not too sure how it really likes Arkansas, natural stones, but uh, it's ploughing away, it's doing a reasonable job, but I'm going to now test it unfairly. I'm now going to test it against one of my favourites. This, of course, is an Arkansas. Oh, what am I talking about? Sorry, it's too early for me. This is a Philharmonica Tridor, one of my favourites. Now, this will be all comers, and uh, let's see how, how it feels today. Yeah, that's pretty good. Actually, it's, uh, it's not that much better. In fact, that's a surprise. Well, well, well. smoother. Let me uh, go back quickly to the wonderful River Razor. River Razor is um, a wonderful concept razor from Boris, my friend Boris de Rubier. It's based, the shape is based entirely on the classic Philharmonica shape. So you get the beautiful grip, the beautiful hold, and of course a nice straight edge. Let's, uh, let's just try this again. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's better than the last shave, which to be honest, people did say to me, 
sounded bloody awful. In fact, uh, Boris himself said, <laughs> said it sounded like I had a, a bird edge. I didn't, honestly, Boris. Yeah. That's all I really do. I, I just love experimental razor testing. And um, when you're dealing, as I'm privileged to deal with, some top end razors, it's very hard to actually gauge accurately what is better and what isn't, because uh, you're talking about some very high grade equipment. But, um, oh look, lots of crap, lovely. Yeah, so I'm gonna continue a little bit longer with this. This soap's holding up quite well. So Jeff was quite right. It is a good soap. It's not drying out too badly. I do tend to be lazy and uh, don't add enough water. So let's add a little bit more water. Yeah. That's a, a Jax tip. Thanks Jax. Works, definitely works. Big heavy brush. This is a, a Yaki nylon synthetic 30 millimeter brush and uh, if you've got a slightly tender face through too much shaving, I do tend to find that uh, a, a, an artificial brush is, is probably a little bit kinder. Very, very, very soft. Each to their own. This is purely a subjective test. This is, there's nothing objective about what I do. Not a scientific person. Right, here we go. This is uh, one more time, another pass. Let's go against the grain this time. This is with the Philly Tridor. Yeah. As you'd expect from Philharmonica. Very, very good. I haven't taken this beautiful Philly Tridor to the stones. Um, Gary put such a wonderful edge on it. All I've needed to do is uh, refresh it just once, very lightly, on a, a TI. Strop paste. Yeah. You could shave for a lifetime with this. However, let's try with this monster. This is a, a superb, absolutely superbly made razor. I can't, I can't speak how well made this is. It's the fact that the screws are adjustable. It's the fact that the balance is, is exactly right because it's based on a filly. Yeah, um, well done. Uh, you're an absolute miracle worker, Mr. Boris. But its edge is different. Yeah, it, it, it's, I wouldn't say Arkansas was the best for, uh, for this particular steel. Yeah, but it's smooth. Let's try a little bit more lava. Let's go against the grain. Well, it's doing the job, but it has a slightly dull coarse sound to it, whereas a homogeneous carbon steel, a wonderful Iberian Spanish steel. God knows how they made it. Yeah, not a lot of difference. Yeah, I think I'd be really lying if I said there was a lot of difference between the two now. So yeah, in conclusion, or well, in semi-conclusion, um, yes, the Arkansas Black does seem to be slightly better 
than the Arkansas translucent. The only thing I would say is you have to work all day on a, <laughs> on a black Arkansas to alter the edge. Whereas the translucent cuts far better because it's a slightly coarser grit. It's also much more visible. But uh, let's see if I can maim myself today. I'm not very good at stretching. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Uh, I'm going to give myself a nice long final trim. I'm not going to bore you guys to death. All I would say is, uh, yeah, I think we've got a, a slight improvement here. I think we've got a bit of a success going. Um, I would say that this uh, this edge now on a black Arkansas with a River Razor 14 with its very high tech steel seems to have redeemed itself. Look at that. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, no complaints. So, um, I'd still say at the moment, I'm not in love with this particular steel. The shape of the razor, the hold on the razor, absolutely faultless. It's, um, it's got a gold plated spine. Um, it's exactly the same dimensions as the Philly Tridor. A little bit more square on the point, which is good. A little bit more square on the heel, which is good. Beautiful razor. Well done, Boris. Um, anyway, chaps, I won't waste any more of your time. Uh, what I will do, I think I'll treat myself to another, I don't know, two or three passes with the Tridor. And uh, that's, my, that's my baby. <laughs> I'll leave you in peace. Thank you for watching. This is just a simple shave test, but yeah, um, black Arkansas is definitely better finish than a translucent Arkansas in my limited experience. See you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.